Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. And later we'll have some f***ing pie. <laughs> it always seems like she's saying that. Come on, tell me. Doesn't it seem like she's saying that? Later we'll have some pumpkin pie. Oh man. Now I've ruined your Christmas, let's learn how to work out at home with which materials. So you want to work out at home, and you wanna know which equipment do you need. So I can't really say, okay, go buy a pair of dumbbells because you might wanna do something else. So what I divided this into is uh, three levels. Yeah, right now you're at level zero. So the basic stuff, like the body weight movements, calisthenics, you can already do, obviously, at home. So all of you guys have tables, you have chairs, you have uh, couches, and you can do a lot of stretching movements. You can do, obviously, Squats, jumping squats, lunges, jumping lunges, uh, uh, push-ups, um, V-ups, all sorts of ab exercises. Also, you 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 can do pretty much the whole works when it comes to body weight movements, except for the pulling ones. So it's already a given that you have the body weight to work with. So let's let's focus beyond that. So level zero is the body weight, the calisthenic movements. Level one should be with very little investment, what should I get or what can I get that'll make me even better at working out. So you already have the calisthenics, so now we're gonna move on. So level one is five things. Number one is the pull-up bar. You need to do pull-ups. You need to be able to pull either vertically or horizontally. So if you get those cheap ones, but be careful, not too cheap then you can really get the most out of your body weight training because now you have something to pull from. So any sort of sports store will have it. Number two, rubber bands. All kinds of rubber bands, but let's start with the ones you need and we already have a very good video telling you which rubber band to choose and which exercises to do with each rubber band. So once you see that video, you'll know. However, it, it'll be useful not only for exercises for your whole body, but uh, to help you with getting some extra push on your pull-ups. So if you can't do more than one pull-up or two, with the right rubber band, you might be able to do six to eight or eight to 10, whatever. So, you know, this will aid in your body weight movements as well. And we're stepping up and we're getting a jump rope as well. Jump rope is very important. It's a way to stiffen your tendons, which is something that I always talk about. It's very important. And it's a way to work your cardio without needing much space. So a jump rope will always be a great option. Next in line, what I first started to work out with before I joined the gym, when I was like 18 years old, okay, I already did martial arts, so I already had the calisthenic movements, but then I started using dumbbells. And not only, both sides at the same time, but unilateral dumbbells will really help you achieve a higher degree of fitness, getting stronger, doing some sort of, uh, doing any sort of hypertrophy exercise, and being able to correct some of the um, uh, 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 imbalances in your physique and or performance. And the last one of this first level is you guessed it, the TRX. Yeah, ask it for Christmas. Yeah, somebody will give it to you like an ant. You can pretty much attach it either to a door or to the pull-up bar that you already have or will have. And uh, not only will you be able to pull vertically, but with the TRX, you'll be able to pull horizontally, which is very important. One thing that should, you should always keep in mind, and a lot of people who work out at home and don't have any sort of equipment, they always push more in their weekly frame of programming, they always push more than they pull. You should always have some sort of balance between the two because pulling movements will really work your back, your entire back in order to get that V taper and your um, rhomboids, the center of your back will be thicker even. So that will be very much handy or very much uh, advantageous Oh, good. Advantageous if you don't want to uh, injure yourself. So be as strong pushing as you are pulling. So that was level one. Now we move on to level two, 
which is for those people who really want a home gym. Those people who have enough space to create their own hardcore gym environment. I'd recommend you do it on the garage so that your mother slash wife slash mother-in-law don't f you up. So if you want to build a good home gym, have a barbell. A barbell will give you most of the functional movements that we're always talking about. Not only the squat, but the deadlift, any sort of pressing movements, uh, even if that's your thing, but be careful, because they might screw you with the noise. Uh, weightlifting, a little bit of weightlifting, like power cleans, squat cleans, snatches. Okay, be careful with the snatches. Second one on the level two, a rig with a rack. No, not that rack. Not only will a rig be the next level when it comes to pull-ups or muscle-ups or stuff that you might want to do like toast a bar with a regular pull-up bar that you put on your uh, door hinges, that will be a little bit more difficult to do. You won't have enough room to really hang yourself from. So uh, with the rig, you, you'll be able to do pretty much most calisthenic movements. And with the rack, you'll be able to place the barbell for you to do the front squat, the back squat, the good mornings, uh, what else, the presses. And lastly, an adjustable bench. I mean adjustable because when it's vertical, you can do presses. And I really, really got a lot stronger in my shoulders doing seated military press either with dumbbells or with barbells, but mostly with dumbbells. Or you can incline it a little bit and do incline bench press, or you can flatten it out and pretty much do everything like uh, dragon flags, why not? Or bench presses, obvious. Or if it's one of those benches that you can decline, not only will you be able to do obviously the bench press as well, but there's one tricep exercise called the skull crushers that if you do declined, with dumbbells, you'll feel the gravity working much more against you and it'll, you'll get an extra pump, I swear. <laughs> Lastly, the level three. Level three are the extras, okay? Not those extras. One of these extras, I know that you're thinking something like, oh, is Willow forgetting it? I can't believe it. No, I did not forget the kettlebell. The kettlebell is very important. I just don't think it's as important and a lot of people don't have the right technique, so it's not as important as the one as the ones I, I said before, but it's still very important. It really teaches you it teaches you how to strengthen the hip and work on that hinge, which is when you uh, bend at the hip and then use the posterior chain, which will be the lower back, uh, the glutes, and the hamstrings, in order to get that strength, to get that openness of the hip. As for which one to choose, if you only choose one, I mean, start with one that's like medium. Usually for the guys, it's gonna be something like 20 or 24 kilos. Don't go all the way onto, into 32 because that way you won't have a lot of exercise that you can do with it. So don't just choose the kettlebell based on the kettlebell swing. Choose the kettlebell based on the most range of exercise that you will be able to do. So 20 to 24 for the guys, and maybe for the girls between 12 or 16, or if you're a little stronger, uh, a better athlete from 16 to 20. That's what I would say. For a start. Then a mad ball. A mad ball is always- <laughs> Not that mad ball. One of the things that I most love about the med balls is not the wall balls, even though the wall balls are very cool, but any sort of throwing with it. So if you want to throw it against the wall with this rotation, it's going to be very good for any type of sports activities like uh, rugby, uh, football, martial arts, whatever. And tossing it either forward or backwards. But be careful with your mother-in-law. Then you have the rings which is like a version, a, a 2.0 version of the TRX. You can do a lot of things with the rings that you can't really do with the TRX, like muscle-ups or dips, for example. And then, lastly, I would say a box uh, 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 for you to do the box jumps. Uh, you can do box squat. You can do step-ups. But, I mean, that's one of the things that you can actually mimic with other objects that you might have around the house. So I would say that's the least important of them all, even though it's obviously, you know, one extra tool. And voila. 
Truth is, you don't need a lot of things unless you really want to build a hardcore gym. So that's why I divided it into levels. So check where you're where you're at in terms of the levels and check where where you want to get. Because seriously, for most people, it's always going to be better to join a gym. The most important thing is to like, subscribe, share, or if you don't agree with me on anything, you can put it on the comment section. Do it now. Don't be afraid. This is a community. We're Willow Peeps, Willow Posse, and I'll see you next time. It's training for men and women. And that does not mean that you c come here on the bike and read the Fifty Shades of Grey or the economy paper. Uncles, I'm gonna give you a list of exercises, functional exercises to work on your strength and mostly mobility, which are the first things that we 